So good evening everyone. So in this video we are going to discuss about the process industries as well as uh, uh, discrete uh, industries and uh, the difference between those things process and the discrete in the, uh, the industries as well as the continuous control and discrete control. So these are all the things we are going to discuss in this particular uh, video. Okay. So first we are going to discuss about the process industries. Mainly it is going to um, bring on the processes. So like uh, any chemical processes or in the extracting the uh, oils from the earth. So this are on, and also the pharmaceutical companies and all that will be saying that uh, process industries. Come to the discrete industry to ma manufacturing the components. Okay, in the automobile sector, these are all the things uh, that will be uh, example for the discrete industries. Okay, so uh, we understood the basic elements of the contents of automation. Um, we now look in the detail into the industrial control systems. We divided the industrial uh, and their production operations into process industries and discrete industries. The process is going to be uh, like uh, the oil segregation and other things. So producing the some of the uh, uh, for material things and um, uh, these labels describe the sorts of the automation of us each type of industries. So uh, here we are going to see about the two types of industries, process industry as well as discrete industry. In the process industry is the corporate level. Uh, it is in the management information system, strategic planning system, high level management of enterprises. It will be same to the discrete manuf manufacturing also. But our work is going to do the same thing, going to taking care of the discrete manufacturing uh, automation also. The plant level here, here in the process industry, scheduling, tracking level, equipment monitoring. So, the scheduling normally is going to um, make the planning okay so in which work where it has to be performed over there so and also tracking level what is going on there and uh, the process is uh, going or not suppose the system uh, in, uh, how to increase the temperature or reduce the temperature all those things will be tracking over in the plant level but in the discrete manufacturing industry level so here scheduling and tracking and working process how much material are in the wait for the work okay and uh, to combine the operation first operation to second uh, uh, machine first station to second machine it has to be combined together that is the routing okay so if uh, routing is properly then we can quickly uh, mass production will really increase okay so routing the parts of the machine and machine utilization how effectively you can utilize the machine that it will be dealt with the plant and factory level over in the discrete industry then comes into the process industry supervisory control level so here control and coordination of the several interconnected unit operation that makes the total process but in the uh, discrete industry control the coordination of the groups machine supporting equipment working coordination including the material handling the equipment here the material material handling will be the major task for you okay so uh, if you are uh, not handling the material properly it causes the damage to the material it become a huge loss to the uh, industry then the regulatory control valve in the process industry is the uh, control of unit operations and uh, discrete manufacturing the machine level the production machines and workstations for discrete part and product manufacture then comes into the device level so the sensor and actuator are used to comprising the basic control loops for unit operations the sensor mainly it will be used to monitor the temperature level as well as uh, uh, what is the process is going on on flow of uh, fluids so everything it will be going to answer uh, control the sensors 
So the actuators and all to increase in the pressure and other things there it may be used and comes into the device level they are also in sensors actuator it will be used for to uh, find out the component specifications okay and also we will start and stop the machine for that purpose it can be used over in the discrete industries then comes into the continuous and uh, discrete okay so there are uh, two types of uh, control one is the continuous control and another one is the uh, discontinuous uh, discrete control in the continuous control the variables parameters are continuous and uh, analog uh, in the discrete control variables and parameter are discrete mostly in the binary format and okay so on the continuous and the discrete control factors are in the uh, table tabulated so factor product output measures for continuous control is the weights liquid volume and the solid volumes uh, discrete control number of parts and products quality measures in the continuous is uh, consistency solution concentration absence of uh, contaminants specification of conformance okay. discrete control is the quality measures like uh, normally people know that dimension surface finish appearance absence of the defects product reliability and variable and parameters uh, in the uh, continuous control temperature volume flow rate pressure because of according to that the process industry it will be major task for them okay so here uh, discrete control is the position position and velocity acceleration and force then comes into the sensors uh, continuous is discrete uh, in the continuous it is the flow meters thermocouples uh, pressure sensor so normally they are in the process industries uh, we are going to measure these things on the flow of uh, uh, fluids as well as the uh, uh, temperature for to temp measuring the temperature we use the thermocouples and to measuring the pressure pressure sensor has to be used over here in the discrete control like a limit switches photoelectric sensors strain gauges uh, photoelectric piezoelectric sensors okay so with the help of that it's going to use and uh, come into the actuators uh, like a valve heater pumps uh, in the continuous control process and uh, here the switches motor pistons so normally in the actuators valves and here uh, so valves simply regulating the flows and heater is going to heat the uh, particular uh, uh, processes and the pumps are going to pump the uh, fluid from one place to another place so here the switches motors pistons uh, used over in the discrete control mm. switches with help of that the on of the uh, switch on the door switch of the doors motors and process time constraints uh, here seconds minutes hours so in the process controls so in the discrete control is it is the less than a second okay so this is about the continuous uh, and the discrete control system then comes into the uh, objectives of continuous control uh, system is the regulatory control feed forward control steady state uh, optimization adaptive control online search strategies and others okay so thank you